Hey Aquarius, welcome to Tarot to Tarot. This is EJ. I hope everybody's having a good week, almost to the weekend. I am doing this reading for Aquarius from today, Thursday the 15th, what's left of it, through next Thursday. If you are feeling the reading, if it's resonating with you, please like, share, subscribe. Information about personal readings is at the bottom of the page. One more shuffle. And I'm going to cut your cards. And let's get the reading started. I don't do reversals. I do straight up. And we'll do a quick five-card spread to see what's up for Aquarius for the next week. So the first card is the Eight of Swords. Second card is Seven of Wands. Third card is Eight of Wands. Wow, that's a lot of wands. <laughs> Fourth card is Ten of Wands. And the fifth card is the Five of Cups. Wow. Overall energy, the Hierophant. Let me take a look at see, see what's going on with you guys for next week. Wow. This is not a good reading, Aquarius. I'm sorry. It looks like you have been yeah, it looks like you've been tested, but it, it, on the other side of that, it looks like you have kind of been blind to the truth of what's going on in the situation. And it looks like, oh man, you've been fighting with people and people have been trying to compete for you. And it's just been a whole lot of chaos. Good grief. Okay, Aquarius, I don't know what's up. I do not know what's up. Um, and, and at the end of all of this, you are going to be feeling the loss and you're going to have the regret because you were just determined, it looks like, to want to see a situation in a certain way and not for what it actually is. And because you wanted to be, it looks like you wanted to be open-ended. Uh, and the other person involved looks like doesn't is not wanting that. And they've been trying to <clears throat> fight you and tell you that's not what they want. They're looking, it just seems like they're looking for something a little more grounded. There's the, all this wine energy is fire. So I, it, it could be an earth sign, it could be an air sign, it could be a fire sign. It could actually be anybody, but I'm just looking at all the fire here with the wands. Um, yeah, it, it could be fire, water, or earth. But whoever, whatever it is, they are looking for something way more down on the ground than you are. It looks like you just kind of want to go from here to there. And at the end of all of it, you're just going to be exhausted because you haven't sat down long enough to see what's going on. You've just been kind of just running and doing what you want to do. And I think whoever this is that you're involved with has been trying to give you some good information. You need to sit down. You need to rest. Um, you need to reflect. And you, you're just pushing against it. 
And at the end of it, it's all your loss and regret because the person or people that you thought were going to be there while you did whatever you pretty much wanted to do, they're, all, they're out. They there, out the door, gone, goodbye. And it, it just right at the beginning, blind to the truth, just blinders on. You just are not trying to see it for what it is. And that's causing everybody else a lot of pain and sorrow. And it shouldn't be that way. But, I mean, all of this, your overall energy with the Hierophant is about expanding your knowledge and getting your mind beyond what you know or what you think you know. And I think you here, by all the lonesome, is what's going to get you this overall energy right here with the Hierophant and, and the expansion of knowledge. It's going to be too bad, but it looks like you just are going to learn the lesson way too late. And this is, this is not going to be a slow-moving thing, especially with all these wines here. This is, this is quick. So I'm going to say within the next 10 days even, um, it's just going to be a struggle. And I, I, I dare say it's not helping that Mercury has gone retrograde. But the positive in all of this is that when it's over and when this person moves on, while that's a bad thing for you, um, you'll learn something. And it looks like maybe this time it will stick uh, and you'll, you'll get the inspiration that you need to do better. But, man, the only thing, this, this is what I will say. Um, try to think about what you're doing. And try to, to delve into why you're doing what you're doing, whatever it is. If you're cheating, if you're not working enough, if you're not taking care of your health, if uh, you know you need to go back to school but you haven't, I mean, just whatever it is, look at why you're doing and feeling the way you're doing and feeling because that might give you some insight as to why you, you want this person or people around you flitting and flighting around, you know, and, and at some point you were going to have to recognize that nobody's going to stand up for you if you're not there for them. If you don't have their back, they're not going to have your back. It's just that simple. And at the end of all of that, you will be by yourself. And that ain't cool. That ain't cool and it's not necessary. It's not necessary. But at the end, and I keep coming back to the Hierophant. It, 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 you will learn. You'll learn a lesson. And, and your mind will open up. And I think maybe with all of this fire energy, you know, maybe that will burn some of the, the maybe negative talk you've got going on in your head. Maybe this will burn some of that out. And maybe in the next cycle you will be able to settle some of this down and get a little more grounded with the people that um, you're choosing to be around. And being grounded doesn't mean that you can't be creative or that you can't have fun or you can't be social. It means that you know where you're going, you know how you want to live your life, and you don't have all this chaotic in and out energy um, you know, and you're not lying to yourself. You're not being blind to the truth. And that looks like the biggest thing out of this reading. I keep looking at that card and that card, the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant, and just blind to the truth. Just You don't want to see that there are good people around you and trying to be about you. Um, you. You just are determined to just keep it going. And... and and all I'm going to say is just know when you get to that painful point, whatever that is, where you're feeling the loss and the regret, um, open your mind at that point. That, that, that's the, the clearest and 
most concise way I can say it. When you get to that point of pain, open your mind and look at the totality of your situation, the people involved, and what part you played in it, and do better and move forward. Um, I'm hoping you guys have a good holiday and that, you know, you don't, you don't get so caught up in whatever that, you know, it, it in and of itself creates drama. Um, so just kind of be careful around family with your words and your actions. Um, other than that, I say stay faithful and stay diligent and stand up in your truth. Figure out what your truth is and stand in it. Um, so you can get a little better direction about where you need to go or at least where you want to go. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon.